Question number 55. There is lots of geometry to figure out before we go into physics. So look at the house. The actual house is 6 meters. Then we have this roof at 45 degrees. And then if I put this right here, this is going to be a 90 degree angle. And that will be an isosceles triangle. If this is an isosceles triangle, right in the middle, this is 3 meters. Because the base of the house is 6. So half of it is 3. Which makes half of the roof right here is 3. And this right here is also 3 meters. The ball is launched from one meter above the ground. So it's going to go through a height of, so change in y max for that ball is, this is three, and that is also three. So that's six minus one, so the maximum is five meters. The change in x is just all these, 18 meters. So what minimum speed will allow the ball to clear the roof, and at what angle should you toss the ball? Why can't they just ask for initial velocity, I'm not sure. In order for us to know the minimum horizontal speed, our only option horizontally would be to find the time and then do the Vx equals change in x, which we know to be 18 meters, divided by that change in time. The only way we can figure out the change in time is through the vertical part. I know that at the top it's going to be 0 meters per second. I also know that the height max at which velocity is 0 vertical velocity is 0, is 5 meters. V final squared equals V initial squared plus 2G change in Y will allow me to figure out my minimum vertical velocity initial. So it's going to be root of 19.6 times 5, 9.899. 9.9 meters per second. I still need the time. Well, let's see. How long is it going to take for that velocity to become zero? That will give me half the time, right? Remember, g equals zero minus v initial y over change in time from where change in t is 9.9 .9 over 9.8. Oh, wow. 101. So then the total time will be 202 to clear those 18 meters. So then your Vx is going to be 18 divided by your 202. That's 8.9 meters per second. And then since they want the speed, we'd just do Pythag, which is 8.9 squared plus 9.9 .9 squared. So 13 meters per second is your minimum speed. And at what angle? That will be 10 of y over x, so that's 9.9 .9 over 8.9. Remember, you need to be in degrees, not in red. Get me 48 degrees. 48 degrees above horizontal. Boom. That's the answer to number 55. You're welcome.